Welcome back to our Scratch, where we deliver you the best golf fitness and technical information every week. And today we've got another video, three exercises all golfers need if you're over 50, and this will help you gain some lower body strength, a bit more rotation, and increase club head speed. Okay, now talk me through exercise one. So if we're over 50, we're worried about lack of rotation, lack of speed, all these things are meaning our golf ball is getting a little bit shorter. Yeah, not ideal, is it? And, and that's the thing, as we get older, we do lose muscle mass, we do lose strength. Sadly, that is the aging process, but we can slow that down by doing some exercises like this. Fab, talk me through it. First one, we're looking at the lower body here, in particular, the pelvis, the hamstrings, and the glutes. So that's posture, to put it in its simplest form. Yeah, what we see is a lot of golfers stood particularly when they get older, very tall to the ball because they lose a bit of mobility and they lose that ability to set up strong, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So this exercise will help you gain a little bit more tilt at setup and also strengthen the hamstrings and the glutes to keep you stable through posture. Fab. So I need one foot on the uh, so slightly bar like here, this. Alex. That's it. So like just wedge your heel in. So we're using this here just for a bit of ease of viewing, but this will be the wall at home, essentially. Yeah. Um, and then all I need you to do is have a flat foot here, but just bring this out a touch. The aim of the game here is if you start tall for me, we're going to create a hinge. So a hinge is basically a pushing back of the hips mm -hmm. and the upper body will fall forwards naturally as a result of. So like this. Correct. So Alex is going to slide what feels like down his leg, just soften this knee a tiny bit. And he's going to maintain a rough straight spine here. So he's pushing his hips backwards. As he pushes the hips backwards, he should feel the hamstrings load. And on his way up tall, he's going to tuck his pelvis a little bit at the top to squeeze and engage that glute as much as possible. Yep. So what can you feel? <laughs> I can actually, well, I feel like I'm having to really control my left ankle, really, yeah. to be honest. Like, I'm a bit like this. And I see a lot with golfers when they come to me, balance is a big issue. Exactly. So that's going to also as an extra bonus there. So this is all about loading one leg individually. So as we rotate in the swing, we're using both feet on the ground, but each leg will have different amount of pressure at different points of the golf swing. And you repeat this both sides, right? Definitely repeat this both sides. If you're finding this movement easy, you can add a little weight into this, maybe a little kettlebell, a little dumbbell, something like that. But this is all about the technique. What we don't want to see is people doing this, collapsing their spine, where there's really little movement going on here. It's got to be a pushing back of the hips, almost like a... I just felt position. like I was pushing my bum towards the wall. Yeah, exactly. Wall, You're just the closing the gap between your backside and the wall. And 8, 10, 12 reps, what are we thinking? Yeah, 8 to 10 is good on this one. Nice and slow on the way down. And on the way up, you just got that little tuck, get the glutes going. Awesome. Let's get into exercise number two. The next exercise is a single leg glute bridge. This is an amazing exercise for helping you develop glute strength. And it also allows you to extend the hip, which is a crucial part of your golf swing. As you can see here, Alex is lay on the ground. He's going to place one foot onto a wall in front of him. You want your butt quite close to this wall so it creates a rough 90 degree angle through the leg. Tuck that opposite knee in and push the hip and the glute high up to the ceiling as far as you can. The key thing with this is that you keep the foot connected to the wall by pressing the big toe and the instep tight to the wall. Don't let that heel peel off, don't let the foot rock. That will engage the glute even more as you drive through this bridge. I recommend you try around 12 to 15 reps each side, raise that hip as much as you can. Right Alex, exercise number three. Fire me up. We're working a little bit more upper body wise here, mm -hmm. and this one is a really nice one to get the upper back going, some rotation, you can also create a bit of speed with this as well. So we need the good old red band. Perfect, and we've attached it round, looped it round, right? Yeah, anything at home, you, know, you can shut the door, put it on a door handle, put it outside, banister rail, wherever you want. Um, you want this roughly about shoulder height, so by the time the band's up here, it's gonna be just about shoulder height, if not a little bit lower, that's fine. Um, so if you split your stance for me, and you're gonna grab this in the left hand. So if I'm going left hand, which way am I splitting? Um, so left hand here, then we've got the right foot forwards right foot and forward. the left foot back. Okay, that's so like it. this. Yep, so maybe just come back a tiny bit, so a bit more tension on the band, just so it's a little bit tight. And take, the further you go back, the more tension you put on the band. Yeah, exactly, this will get a bit tighter. If you take your left foot a bit further back for me, and then come onto the tiptoes, so you feel sort of stable and strong in this posture here, that if yep. I just nudged you, you, would, you wouldn't fall over instantly. <laughs> All says. I want you to do is you're going to row through the left hand and the right hand will press forwards like a push-pull mechanism, that's it. So as you row, you're going to rotate and twist the torso exactly like that. So we feel in the rib cage moving and as Alex rows this band in tight here, the upper back muscles are pulling that band in for a little bit of tension and a bit of a squeeze. 
and obviously the thicker the band you go, the harder this starts to get. Nice and strong through the legs, really stable. That's your base. The legs are always the base of your golf swing. We need those strong and stable so you can rotate on top. How's that? Good, good. Yeah? I like that one. Yeah, it's good. And you know, you can start to put a bit more speed in it with, with a bit of practice. You can pull it a bit faster, move the rib cage a little bit faster. I feel like well. doing it slow, I feel like I'm like trying to control everything there for me. That's what I'd like. Yeah, exactly. And I think everyone should start at a slightly slower pace where they're getting the technique, they're getting the movement, they're getting the rotation in there rather than just yanking the band around yeah, for yeah. the sake of it. When you feel like you've nailed that, then add a bit of speed. Fab, so there you go. Three exercises for golfers over 50 to really help improve your golf swing.